Hey friends, it's Reverend Rick Beatty from Unity of Royal Oak with my dear friend, the Reverend Dr. Martha Creek uh, down there in Tennessee, having a big time, doing a lot of teaching. And we want to talk to you today about the universal Christ. Uh, as you know, I've had committed to uh, doing a book study probably in January. And in fact, I mentioned it to Martha at one point and she let me know that she was thinking about doing something. This was a few weeks ago. So then I got looking at her latest newsletter, and by George, she's starting on January the 11th. And I love the approach that she's taking from her website, which is MarthaCreek.com. I've got the banner up there. Um, she says this, living the universal Christ based on our very ordinary life themes is the approach for this spiritual teaching. Martha, what do you mean when you say that? Well, it's that our life holds all the potential for any Christ consciousness. So that it's it's the shift out of talking about Christ consciousness and into a committed, devotional, reflective, insightful, actionable way to live the universal Christ. So how today am I going to do that? How at the end of this day, regardless of what this day unfolds or what day this brings, how am I going to be able to, at the end of this day, to say, I was living at the highest consciousness I have access to. So today I fed a bird. Today I turned a bug over off its back so it could walk again. Today I sent a meal to a family. Mm -hmm. Today, I um, um, wrote thank you notes to somebody. Today, I caused and created a higher consciousness within myself and contributed to my own soul's evolution mm -hmm. and to the evolution of humanity, to the planet. Mm -hmm. and, and to make that uh, as uh, intentional, as full, filled with devotional, as devotion as possible, and to also spend time in contemplation, reflecting, um, applying whatever spiritual principles have worked for us, that this is the year to dial it up, whatever that may be. I love that idea of dialing it up, of, because that's been really how I've gotten through this pandemic in my, for me, right? Enough jabberjaw about the Christ. How how can I be more of that? And it, it beautifully connects unity's teaching of the I am of the Christ in all of us Christed beings with our fifth principle it's not enough to know the truth you got to live the truth you know right which is a which is a really big shift honestly because and it's like we can talk about the life of Jesus as a master teacher and if Christianity is not your thing and Jesus is not your guy or your guru or your dude or whatever it is it's like no problem speak in terms of mother Mary Krishna um, <laughs> Kuan Yin, the sun, the moon, the stars. It's like yeah. we're talking here about an elevated consciousness and intentional living and shifting out of how to bring this alive. How am I living love, living wisdom, living zeal, living faith, living letting go, mm -hmm. living, mm -hmm. living this, applying this, walking this. And you don't have to call it anything to join. It is not, I'm not approaching this from a religious base. I believe your religious beliefs belong to you and everybody else. It's very personal. I believe your theology is yours. So I'm not here to teach you theology or religion. I'm here to facilitate a conversation and a, an energy, a synchronicity, um, um, a, a convergence of people, a committed group of people that says yes to this. And from a little story I read yesterday about uh, always being the Santa Claus, big Santa-ing, and what one little child had done when she didn't believe that there was Santa anymore, and that her grandmother, who always told her the truth, she went running to her to say, what is this notion about Santa? And she gave her $10 and said, you get to do with it whatever you please. And she reflected and contemplated an eight-year-old with 
who would be best served with this $10? Yes. And it was a little boy named Bobby who didn't have a coat in her classroom. Wow. And there it is. Right to the store to get a $10 coat for Bobby. And the cashier um, didn't show her the price tag. She took the price tag off the coat and handed it to the grandma who put it in her Bible. And the one that wrote the story said she still has the Bible and the coat tag that was $19.95. And that cashier didn't say you're $10 short for the coat. She said, are you buying this for somebody? And wow. she said, yes, somebody named Bobby who can't go out to play because he doesn't have a coat. Wow. So, there is the Christ in action. Call right. it the Christ. Call it Santa. Call it your nature. Call it your inherent I am, the innate I am. Mm -hmm. And there's so much potential and possibility for changing the world. Yes. And doing what you have always done since I've known you now these, I don't know, 14, 15 years, serving those who serve, serving people who are committed to transforming. I think that we have an extraordinary opportunity um, if we take advantage of it, if we're willing, the, the lid has been peeled back on the sardine can of all of our ugly. So now what do we do with it, right? Well, we heal it. That's why it comes up. Martha, what can people expect um, What's the format of the these hour-long, nine-hour-long sessions going to be like? I've made it as easy as possible. There's a Zoom link. It's posted right on the website. The same link works for every single month, so you don't need nine links. One link that works all the time, so cut it and paste it in there. We'll come on the call. I'll present from the teachings. I'll offer reflective questions. I'll offer practices. We'll hear from some of the, those in the group, their stories and what they're doing to live this out in the world. It's one hour, once a month, that is uh, designed to bolster a year-long process. And we'll actually meet nine of the years during nine of the months during 2021. So it's made like... The class is made to be like a watering station if you're a marathon runner. Uh, that the, the one hour once a month is to bolster you up and to give you God's speed, when beneath your wings to continue your good work in the world and to continue the practice of this and also um, to support one another, to um, be inspired by what others are doing, to get ideas and to lift up our own efforts. Is it necessary for a person to be reading The Universal Christ by Richard Rohr to be a part not of Not at all. You, don't, you can have the book or not have the book. I, I won't read from it. It's not a book study. I will reference the book, some teaching from it. I may use a question from the book for reflection or mm -hmm. contemplation to uh, ignite uh, ideas or, or actionable steps for somebody, but it is not required. There's also no registration required. You can come in, not come in. Um, if you notify me, you're coming on the class and send your email, then I can send you the recordings of the class. If you miss one, I'll make it as simple and easy as possible. It's really there to made to serve those who serve and how to create a, um, more ways to do this and, to, and honestly to have some fun. So yeah. the classes are usually generally lighthearted. There's not a lot of seriousness about it, which right. is its own medicine. Absolutely. So friends, I, you know, I've taken a number of trainings and teachings with Martha over these years. Uh, every single one of them has been worth my time. That's, I cannot say that about every other teacher I know, but everyone has been worth my time. This will be a lot of fun. I'll be there. It's in my, my calendar already. Uh, I can't guarantee I'll be every session, but I will be there as much as I can. And I'm looking forward to this. The uh, registration is by donation. There's no set charge for this. Martha is always, um, all the time I've known her, she's never said no to anybody. So come on in, join me as I join in with Martha Creek as we take a look at being the universal Christ, living it out from the inside out. God bless you. Thank you, Martha Creek. I love you. Thank you for your collabor collaboration on this, It'll Reverend be Rick Beatty, and be that your pastor's heart is already in full expression here to want to step into your own uh, stream of this and certainly to lift it up to your flock and congregation too. So I look forward to y'all being in there. I love all of you very much. And I know that you, you do. Want to come in, come on in and play. Um, there's um, nothing to lose here. Nothing to lose. I love that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs>